All right, we're on the final stretch. One more mirror to go, but this one is a little trickier. So pay real close attention here. Let's make sure mirror three is perfectly aligned and sending that beam straight down the middle of your laser head. Let's give it a shot. All right, so we're gonna wanna jog the laser head for this next step to the middle of the gantry. Uh, that's going to be pretty much something you can eyeball. Uh, if you wanna be exact, if you've got a mirror seven, uh, that's going to be a measurement of 350 millimeters. If you've got the mirror nine, that's gonna be a measurement of 450 millimeters. And again, you can refer to the coordinates on the keypad to know when to stop. So this is our x-axis over to the middle. And I'm aiming for about 350. That should be enough. We don't have to be perfect. I'm at 350.5 millimeters. All right, so now our gantry and our laser head are practically at the center of the machine uh, and we're ready to do our third mirror alignment. Now mirror three is a little different. It's located at the top of the laser head and the bracket's a little different as well, but it kind of works in the same way. Now to do a near and far test, we're going to have to raise and lower the bed. This is going to be the way to align our last mirror so that we know it's shooting perfectly down the baseline and we'll call the material home base. So the minute we get the laser all the way through all three mirrors, through the lens, we're home. And that's what we wanna be able to do. First, we'll need to remove the autofocus sensor and the focus lens inside. To do so, we'll need the two and a half millimeter Allen wrench that is provided in your kit. Let's go ahead and insert that into the top bolt and loosen it. and do the same with the bottom. Just be careful, put your hand underneath it. You don't want these to drop into your honeycomb tray. You have a lot of fun fishing those out if you do. I just wanna point out there is a tiny little lock nut on there. So you don't want that to fall out either. So I'm gonna put this in a safe place. And I'll go ahead and do the same for the top. Now I'm gonna catch this whole autofocus sensor because it is going to want to drop but I'm going to maintain focus on the screw because that's more important. You don't want that screw to fall out and get lost in our honeycomb table. All right so here's the autofocus sensor we could just loop that out of the way here and here's the cartridge that holds the focus lens inside. We're just going to remove that. There's our lens. Lastly we're going to remove the nozzle. Just spin that clockwise and it should come right off. So, mirror three, laser beam is hitting it and we want it to make sure it goes 90 degrees straight down towards our work area. All right, so first I'm gonna grab two pieces of double-sided tape, but we're not gonna place it on the target just yet. First, we're going to go ahead and set it right on the honeycomb table using the red dot as reference. We want the red dot to be right in the middle there. And we're gonna do our near shot, which means we've gotta bring the honeycomb bed up. Now to do that, we have to access the Z movement in the keypad and the controller on the machine. There's a ZU button in the center of all the arrow keys that will then access the Z move the minute you press it. The right arrow key will move the table down and the left arrow key will raise the table up. Now we wanna make sure not to raise it too high or it will collide with the laser head. If you have to move your autofocus sensor out of the way so it doesn't accidentally get in the way. You wanna have just about, you know, a good inch, enough to where the nozzle fits under there. All right, so we're ready for our first pulse. First, we have to escape out of this Z move section in the menu. So I'll hit the escape button. And I have to remember to close the lid, otherwise, the laser is not going to fire. Our near shot, we're going to hit pulse. And we should see a nice pronounced burn on the blue tape. Looks pretty good. All right, now we're gonna press that ZU button again to get to the Z move screen. And we're gonna press the right arrow key to lower our table. That's where we're gonna take the far shot and it will automatically stop 
counts when it hits the last sensor, the Z plus sensor underneath the table. You'll know that you've hit the limit when you get a hard limit protect error on the screen. Just press escape. That just means the table can't go any further down. And now we're ready for that second burn. So again, just a light pulse should show me a second burn. It looks like the second burn is just a little bit further back than the first burn, which means we'll have to make a bit of an adjustment. So keeping the table and the tape and everything right where it is, let's go to mirror three and learn how that works. All right, so mirror three is a little different. I'm going to go ahead and just move this autofocus sensor out of the way so that we can see. Uh, there are two adjustment knobs, but they are diagonally from each other. Uh, now the top knob, that one is located on the top left corner. It's closest to the rear of the machine here. So the same concept applies. If I turn this knob clockwise, it'll move the pointer also to the rear. If I turn it counterclockwise, it'll move the laser to the front of the machine. The second knob here located at the bottom will do the opposite. If I turn this clockwise, we're going to get the laser moving to the right. If I turn it counterclockwise, it's going to be moving to the left. So the same concept applies, it just gets a little tricky because of the way it's located. Now because this is on the laser head and it does move quite a bit, there are two Allen bolts that are locking down the mirror from making any real adjustments. So we still have our lock knobs here, just as before, uh, but we also have to loosen up these bolts in order to make an adjustment. We'll need to loosen this bolt if we want to adjust left to right. We'll need to loosen the top bolt if we want to adjust front to back. In our case, our second burn was just a little further back, so we're not going to be adjusting this bottom knob or this bolt, but we will just loosen this bolt up and make an adjustment here, which should be just a counterclockwise turn of this knob to bring the beam forward a bit. So I'll start with loosening up that bolt first. And you can use the same 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench that we used to remove the lens. It just has to be a little bit loose is all. Uh, and we're also going to want to loosen up the adjustment knob here, which is a little tricky to do, but you see that brings pretty much the whole thing loose. Um, we wanted to go counterclockwise just a little bit, which I believe I did when I loosened the knob. And I'm going to go ahead and just tighten that bolt now. And we can actually watch the red pointer start coming closer to the front of the machine as I tighten that bolt. So you kind of make your adjustment first and then you relock it. And as you relock it, it brings it back into the position you want. So let's check if that is going to do it. We're just going to have to redo our test. We can use the same piece of tape. We'll just slide it over a little bit. So we're going to redo that burn test and see if we need to make any more adjustments. I'll press the ZU button again to get to the Z-Move screen. And again, the right arrow lowers the table. The left arrow raises the table. So we'll want to bring it up. I'm going to go ahead and just move this autofocus sensor out of the way here, put it back to where we had it. That's good right there. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and e hit escape to exit out of this screen. And we will need to close the lid again to do this next pulse. And pulse. Again, we're just looking at the new burn. Don't get confused with the old one to the left. And now we'll hit ZU and drop the table again by pressing the right arrow key. Now we'll deliver the second pulse. I'll have to hit escape first to escape out of the hard limit protection error. And I just want to make sure that my autofocus sensor is not hanging in the way of the laser beam. Make sure it's just off to the side, fine. And I can already see where my first shot is. Let's see if we get it on the second try. That is pretty close. I will make probably one small adjustment to that and just tighten up that bolt. It's 
to bring it closer there. And let's hit pulse again and see what happens. That looks pretty darn close. You can see they're both making about the same size circle there. Let's just get a new piece of tape so we don't confuse anyone and do one final check. But first I'll go ahead and just lock down this adjustment knob now that we're done. So holding the knob, again, same principle, adjust and lock the bottom one. All right, just for good measure, we'll do one more. Now that we've locked it down, just put your two pieces of tape there, ZU button, left arrow key, let's see if that's uh, pretty good. Notice how I do not raise the table while the nose cone is underneath. There it is. Nice and snug. All right, and I'm going to hit escape to get out of the menu, hit pulse. We've got our burn there. And I'll lower the bed one more time. Pulse it. Perfect. Same dot there. All right, and that's it. We've got mirror one, mirror two, and mirror three aligned. There is one last little target we'll stick inside there, but now we know that all of our mirrors are parallel and running along the baseline between each one of them. So we wanna make sure that, you know, again, I'm using my baseball analogy here. We wanna make sure the laser beam is running between all mirrors dead center. Um, and that's what we'll do here in a minute. All right, for the final test here, we're going to need the last target. This is the number three target that is located inside of your toolbox. It is a smaller square and it's got a notch cut out of it. So same as before, uh, we're gonna put some tape on it. Uh, and I'll go ahead and remove the tape behind so that we can reveal the adhesive. All right. Now that little notch is gonna go towards that back left hand corner. So it is actually gonna sit this way you will see the number three should be facing you the way it reads normally and the arrow is designed to point towards the back of the machine. So just keep that in mind. That little notch section there is going to end up at the back left hand corner here. And we're just going to insert that and push it down so it sticks. Beautiful. And we're just going to do a pulse here. All right, so remove that target and again, don't remove the blue tape. Now we should have all three targets with our burns ready to examine. Now your laser's aligned and ready to go. Let's get over to Lightburn and get your first engraving done.